We are at Conversation 2025 hosted by admission tree dot in and we are glad to have isro chief v narayanan with us and we are really privileged to have a talk with him so how are you i am fine along with my colleagues <laughs> so actually india is celebrating 79th year of independence and we are all dreaming of 2047 the 100 year celebration of independence so what is your biggest dream about 2047 by 2047, say when we started our space activity, we were not having launcher technology, we were not having satellite technology, we were not very clear about application. But today, when we are celebrating 17 years of independence, we have built 133 satellites and launched. We have built six generations of launches and placed the 100th launch vehicle successfully in, on January 29th. And one not second launcher placing the NASA ISRO synthetic aperture radar satellite and we are having 55 space applications. We are working to ensure safety and security of the Bharat citizens. And Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi has given a clear vision and direction to work towards the Vixit Bharat 2047. And space is going to be a forerunner. By 2040, we will be second to none in all the area of space activities including launcher capability, including satellite technology, including application and ground segment and human space flight program. Thereby, we will contribute for the Vixit Bar of 2047. Actually, the success of Shubhangshu Shukla and Chandrayaan 3 and the other projects of ISRO, everybody, means many of the students who want to make career in space and research. What is your message for them? My message is there are a lot of opportunities in the space area. For example, one is through the government activity. Another one is Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has rolled out the space sector reform. Because as Secretary Department of Space, my responsibility is to ensure a vibrant space ecosystem growth in the country. In fact, uh, 10 years back, we had only one startup company working in the space area. Right now, 300 plus startup companies are working. There are a lot of opportunities. But only thing, my advice to the youngsters are, whether you work in space or any area, please contribute for making this country as a developed country before we celebrate 100 years of independence. So, actually, many parents want their child to make career in space and research. So, any message for the parents? My advice to parents, I am extremely happy when you are having this target. But don't force your children. Please leave them. Uh, allow them to think whichever area they feel happy ask them to grow in that area thereby they will do outstanding in the chosen field chandrayaan 3 has made it uh, a, a success and uh, explored the southern part of moon so what is the chandrayaan 4 expectation of from chandrayaan 4 chandrayaan 3 was a lander mission it was a 4000 kg satellite Chandrayaan-4 is a 9,600 kg satellite. It is going to land, take sample and bring back. It is a sample return mission. So we are working towards that. And lot of new technologies including docking technology has to be de demonstrated and robotic arm technology has to be demonstrated. It's a totally a game changer. So many Samadriyan, Gaganyan, Chandrayaan-4, many missions are in pipeline. So what are the next things we are getting from ISRO? No, Samutrayan is a project undertaken by Department of uh, Ministry of Earth Science. But we have got a small role to play. Uh, it has to, the vessel has to go to 6 km inside the sea. 6 km means 600 bar will act. So that a 2.2 meter diameter, 100 millimeter thick stainless steel vessel is our responsibility. Otherwise, the main responsibility is Ministry of Earth Science. So right now, lot of projects have lined up. Even this year, another 7 or 8 launches are there which includes the first N1 rocket which is coming from Industrial Consortium we are going to launch and we are going to have commercial launch Blue Bat 2 mission and we are going to, we have declared this year as the Gaganyan year first uncrewed mission in which a half humanoid Biomitra is going to fly so there are a lot of programs lined up in the pipeline. So uh, do you think any modification needed in the uh, Indian educational system to motivate the students more in the space and research education? 
So right now, the new NEP system announced by Government of India is a very outstanding thing. But I don't think currently any improvements are required. But what is, in my opinion, what is to be strengthened is the industry and academia connect. R&D organization and academia connect has to be strengthened. In fact, we all are working towards that. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much.